Right, this is a quick walk around video of a Suzuki Swift. This is a 1.6 Sport uh, with 36,000 miles on the clock. Uh, I'm just going to go around the car for you, panel by panel. Basically, lovely colour on these car, these cars rather. It's really beautiful. Bonnet's really good. The only stone chipping is absolutely minuscule. Lens on the side and fog lights completely intact. No cracks or otherwise. And bumper corner, very very good indeed. Front off side wing, very, very nice and clean. The only mark there looks like it's been touched in a little stone chip. And you can see it just there. Uh, but it says it's been touched in previously by the last owner. Tire, Bridgestone, tons of tread on it, and the alloy in very, very good condition. I can't see a single mark on there. Coming down the flanks, really, really crisp. It's um, there's hardly a mark to be seen. There's gonna be the odd one, tiny little one somewhere on the car, so I don't think it's a new car, it isn't. Any, you know you'd have to you have to squint to find them and no car parking dinks or otherwise on the panel work there at all rear bridgestone tire again plenty of tread on there and again the alloy in very very nice condition can't see any any curbing or marks on the um, spokes there anywhere stunning back so they're really grand looking little cars they really are rear bumper no marks on this side at all nothing on the hatch Twin exhaust, really natty and good. And then near side of the rear bumper, again completely unmarked. Just gonna squat down again to show you this side. And again, there's no marks, it's mirror smooth down there. Rear wing completely unmarked. There's nothing on there at all that I can see. Rear tire on this side, again, really good, loads of tread on it. And then the alloy again, completely unmarked. Passenger door, absolutely no marks there anywhere. Front wing on the near side, completely unmarked. Final tyre again, loads of tread and alloy, completely unmarked again. It's a very, very crisp car. Um, and finally, lenses on this side, completely clear, no cracks, no condensation, nothing. So exterior wise, apart from one or two just minuscule marks, you're looking at a car in absolutely beautiful condition. Just looking in the boot area now, again all in very very nice condition in here. Plastics and everything being kept very well indeed. Just looking in the back of the car now, rear seats basically look as though they've never actually really been sat in. You know, the upholstery looks just like brand new. All the carpeted area absolutely unsoiled. In the back of the seats as you can see there, again completely unmarked. We come to the front of the vehicle now, all in very, very nice order indeed. Door cards absolutely spot on. Footwell area all very clean. Sill's absolutely perfect. Driver's seat again, really, really clean and tidy. All the bolsters are really good on there. Likewise, passenger seats at the front there, really good, very supportive seats. And passenger door card, again, just looks like brand new. Right, so inside the car now, obviously the engine's running as it has been all the way through. Let's pan around the dashboard. It's absolutely immaculate. It really is. There's not a mark on it at all. Uh, everything's working exactly as it should. Obviously dual zone climate control. A little USB port down there as well. Gear lever. So six speed gear lever there. All again, just looks like brand new. Then coming across to the dashboard here. Let's say there's no warning lights on the dashboard, just the no fuel light there. And you can see 36,481 miles. Obviously, engine running, as you can tell from the rev counter. And we've got multi function steering wheel. And it's like it's got hands free functions as well on there as well. And your stop start button. So, internally, absolutely faultless. I can't, I can't, can't fault it at all. So, finally, just to show you, I've got the full owner's manual pack for the car, original one there, and a set of locking wheel nut keys to, uh, to remove the alloy wheels should you need to do so. Right, this is a video for a Suzuki uh, Swift, it's 1.6 Sport, car's registered LS62CWY. Mileage at the start of this brief road test is, let's wait for this van to come, 36,474 miles. The reason we do the road test basically is we, uh, we're now starting to customers from all over the near continent and the extremes of the UK and we 
feel it's right if people are going to come and view our cars that they get to see the car in operation prior to coming to see us and then I can let you know if there's any issues which you need to be aware of prior to coming obviously to save yourself a trip if it's not what you're after um, the road test is done on exactly the same roads as you'll be driving on yourself should you be interested in buying the car so it clearly it should be representative of what you should see, feel or otherwise um, when you come and see the car basically so what I normally do is just go through a you know, same as you do yourself, you know, assess different aspects of the vehicle and I'll just report back kind of how I find it myself. Starts with the engine of the car, obviously the car, very low mileage one. Starts, first turn of the key, settles to a very, very even idle. Um, revs cleanly, smoothly, all through its power band, rev range. Uh, there's absolutely no warning lights on the dashboard, just the uh, low fuel lights illuminated currently and that it's not just related to the engine but anything else for that matter um, uh, so the engine is particularly sweet it's, 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 uh, it's an example of one you know you, 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 you struggle to find a better sounding engine it's you know it's as good as it should be given the miles of the car and quite rightly so um, engine then goes through to obviously clutch and gearbox the clutch is utterly smooth in operation silent there's no squeaks or uh, clicks from ratchet or otherwise um, bites absolutely perfectly exactly the right height of the pedal as well the gearbox six speed manual gearbox so plenty of gears there to play around with um, and the gears select really nicely uh, very positive gear change on the car um, I can't through the, the lever through the linkage you know, thus far I simply can't detect it, it, it even the slightest bit of wear in it it's, it's, you know, it just it feels like I'm just driving along in a brand new car. All synchro mesh is really nicely done, um, so you know there's absolutely no issues there at all. So driving the car now, um, just kind of feeling out with the suspension, just to see if there's any kind of strange noises or you know, you know, an inherent looseness to the car, which sometimes you get. You know, even with low mileage, if it's done all its miles round town over potholes and everything else, then you might find that you know it may well have just loosens a few things up but it feels taut it feels tight it feels you know very very good indeed and obviously as you can hear there you can hear it going over the bumps but what i can't hear is any kind of secondary noises and clanks bangs metal on metal which would suggest that there's wear down in the system but there's it's 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 very very good indeed um steering of the car tracks absolutely bullet straight there's no hint of wear or vibration through the steering either of the car it's you know it's still got that same precision you get from a new vehicle um, in the steering wheel itself in my hand feels really nice perfect size steering wheel um, but it's yeah it's all just turning the car side to side really really precise indeed so we give the brakes a bit of a jab crikey wow they're strong <laughs> so yeah the brakes are good um, car squats down really nicely dead dead straight as well um, so all in very very good order there it's going to swing around because obviously there's no, I can carry on a little bit longer it's a long time since I've been in one of these and it's a, it's a very very impressive little car actually um, other things as I'm driving along just listening out for kind of noises that shouldn't be there basically so if there's any kind of squeaks from the suspension or whether there's any kind of wind noise that really shouldn't be in the, in the vehicle um, by that I mean you know if a, a windscreen's been poorly fitted or someone's accidentally damaged the, wind, uh, the window seal or scagged it then sometimes you get a little bit of annoying wind hiss coming in uh, but I can't feel anything or hear anything rather it's all you know very very subdued and quiet in here much as you'd expect it to be um, so the problem with videos they don't really give you kind of a um, a complete you know you've got to trust what I'm saying clearly but um, you know just how tight and how useful this car actually does feel it does feel really really nice inside the car um, in absolutely beautiful condition in here the, you know, whoever's had the car has kept it in really really lovely condition it's got that freshness about it no matter how you clean the car sometimes they'll always look a little bit tired if you know, the previous owners have not been overly careful or you know, cigarette burns or skags or otherwise um, but this one 
looking at every bit of plastic I'm looking at now, every switch, you know, has that kind of has new look to it, really does. Um, again, I can't, there's not a, uh, there's not a squeak or a buzz from the interior trim. It feels very, very well bolted together, actually. It's, uh, you know, typically Japanese, they, they, they do these things so, so well. Um, it was a lovely driving environment. These later versions, they've got, uh, the, the, the dashboard's kind of busy, but, um, you know, it's, it's, got, it's, it's quite a dynamic place to sit. You know, the whole, the sweep of the dashboard looks really nice. All the plastic textures are, are, are good. Um, but as I said, very, very well put together, because, you know, literally, 